This Kellowland Living segment is sponsored by Celebrate Church. No matter who you are or where you've been, you are welcome. When you go to church, you expect to find things like Bibles, a hymnal, and an altar. What you probably don't expect to find are a movie mogul, a mobster, and a lounge singer. Yet that's exactly what you will find at Celebrate Church this Thursday and Friday. And some of those characters are joining us today. Rich Rosti is the director of Trouble at the Tropicabana. He's joined by Lindsay Fassel and Lisa Edmonds, who along with Rich are characters in the production. Unfortunately, both shows are already sold out, but we think it's still important to talk about why Celebrate Church is involved in all of this. Welcome, thank you all so much for coming in today. Thank, Thank you. you for Thank having you. us. Let's start with you, Rich. If you just want to explain why Celebrate Church is deciding to host something like this. Well, over the past two years, it's been tough times for a lot of people, many people. And what the church wanted to do is to have something fun, something that wasn't church, but just in the building, because the building is not being used a lot at night. So they decided to have a dinner theater. And we decided to do this and just have it to be a fun thing, no church connections to it. And that's where it all started. And then later on, as we got thinking about it, you know, with the tough times that everybody has gone through, times are tough. Funds are short. So let's make it a gift to the community. So they decided to cover all the costs and just invite people to come laugh, have a good time. So I did mention that it's sold out, but technically it is free. Just all the spots are taken. That's exactly and right. And there's also, it's also going to be going a little bit towards some of the proceeds that people want to donate as well toward the Macross and Boys Ranch. Is that correct? One of the beneficiaries of the show always was the Macross and Boys Ranch. And that proceeds would go to them as a gift from the church. And now the church is still going to do that, even though they're covering the cost of the of the meal and everything else that goes with it. If anybody that comes to the show would like to make an additional contribution to Macrossans, they can certainly do that too. So, Alisa, let's talk a little bit about what's going to be happening at the dinner theater if you've never been to something like this. Well, you'll get to interact with the cast about a half an hour before dinner is served, so we'll be out mingling. And then you'll get a great uh, pork chop dinner. It will be served uh, on a plate with, with some of our people that go to, to celebrate church and they'll just be their waiters and waitresses and then we will head backstage and then you will also be entertained with a fantastic hilarious show Trouble at the Tropicabana. And Lindsay you are also getting the audience involved in this show as well. How are you doing that? So because it's a crime mystery the audience is actually going to have the opportunity to figure out who did it and why they did it, not to mention a fantastic conga that you guys will be able to participate in. Um, and it's just a lot of the interaction comes from the audience itself, just kind of how we play off of the audience as the cast. And so we were talking, Rich and I are just saying, the fact that it's such a full house is great for us because that atmosphere is just going to bring so much fun and entertainment to the people in the audience and us up on stage. So it kind of sounds like if anyone's ever been to one of their, those murder mystery dinner parties where you're trying to figure out who committed the crime. Yes. It's kind of like a spinoff off that. Right. Very, very fun. All right, so let's talk about Trouble at the Tropicabana, Rich. If you just want to explain kind of like the setting of this and then we'll get into the characters. Well, the Trouble at the Tropic Cabana is a takeoff of the old I Love Lucy show. Instead of uh, Ricky and Lucy Ricardo, it's Ricky and Lucy Bacardi. <laughs> and instead of Fred and Ethel Mertz, it's Smertz. So it's a takeoff of that. And if you ever watched I Love Lucy, the old show, Lucy's always trying to get into the show. She wants to bring Ethel in with her. They, they get in trouble doing it. Uh, and, but there's other factors that we're not going to tell you about that will be integral to them trying to get into the show. Okay, very interesting. I love that, how you're doing the takeoff of I Love Lucy. Uh -huh. So, Elisa, let's talk a little bit about your character and why you got involved with this. What made you want to become part of it? You know, I heard Pastor Keith mentioned from stage that they wanted some people coming in to audition from Celebrate. And I thought, you know, I'm a caregiver for my brother-in-law. I've got a lot going on with church anyway because I serve with the kids and I'm a worship leader with them. Why not try out and see what happens if I get in? It's going to be great. 
and I ended up in the role of, of Ethel, and it has been absolutely fantastic to watch and try and really emulate her when it's such a different era than it has ever been. It was just, it's just fun. I just want an outlet to get out and have a good time. Did you have any idea of who you wanted to be? Like, was Ethel in mind, or did you just kind of go into it with an open mind of whatever I get? Went into it with an open mind, whatever I get. If I got a, got a part, it was going to be awesome. And if I didn't get a part, I was going to help backstage with whatever needed to be done. I just pitch in, and it's always one more for Jesus. And if I can do it through a play at church, why not? Anything mm -hmm. for Jesus. How fun. And how about you, Lindsay? Oh, how I got involved? Yes, so and tried I'm, out in your character. I'm new to Sioux Falls, and so I didn't know anybody. And we uh, went to celebrate, and Pastor Keith was uh, just talking about what do I see in you. And I had a close family friend just say, I see this in you. I had not acted in a very long time. And I was like, oh, well, we'll just try it. We'll find out. And so um, I went in, and I think the most that I've gotten out of it is new friends, the interaction with the people, um, just kind of seeing the involvement that they have in the community not just inside the church. And so that has been really fun for me to see, to meet people. Um, no clue who I was going to get. Um, I was honestly hoping for a cabana girl. <laughs> and so <laughs> I got it one-upped. <laughs> That's good, though. It is, because it went from no lines to uh, a pretty cool, fun character. Yeah, and having experience with acting back a few years prior, it was probably fun to get back into it. It was very fun. It was, it was, uh, and Rich is such a great director. Um, he's, the, everybody is just so fun to be with, and, and we're awful because we feed off of everybody. <laughs> so poor Rich has to keep us in line like a bunch of school kids sometimes. Sounds like you have <laughs> oh. let's, let's talk a little bit about that, Rich, just being the director and being a character and part of this cast. I mean, what is your favorite part about that? I think the best part of directing is seeing someone come in that's not been on stage. We have several on the cast mm -hmm. that really have never been on stage before and to see them come out very stiff and kind of unsure and see them grow in their role and actually start to become their character on stage and the extra things that they do their facial expressions their movements and and how they move around the stage to see the growth in the characters and how they have developed and grown has been a really a joy for me and then for me to sit back and watch it and go yes I see that yes that's good and uh, for me to see that is like when you teach somebody a skill and they get it, you have the satisfaction of being able to be a part of that. And I know Lindsay mentioned, mentioned being new to town is a great way to meet people, make friends, but really, why does this also go along with Celebrate Church? You know, getting the community together for something like this, and I'm sure you guys have spent so much time together practicing and getting ready for this that it's really probably created a special bond. Oh, it mm -hmm. certainly does. And a church needs to be relational. It's not just attending, but to be relational, to be with other people, to get to be friends, to study together, to grow together. And that's exactly what this falls into. And for us as a cast, it has been an outstanding uh, journey together. There's mm -hmm. highs, there's lows, there's growth, there's you know, different things that happen. Mm -hmm. It's all been good, and it's all based because of that's the philosophy of the church. This sounds like so, so much fun. I can already tell how excited you guys are about this. So thank you for coming in and sharing this with us, and good luck at your performances. Thank, well, thank you, you very for much, having Lizzie. us. You will find the Fellowship, Family and Fun of Celebrate Church at 1000 South Sycamore Avenue in Sioux Falls. They offer services both in person and online on Sundays. You can find out more at their website, celebrate.church.